All right, guys. So today uh, we're gonna be changing out my MacBook 13-inch unibody laptop with a new hard drive that I just got. Um, Macs are already expensive enough, so buying a new hard drive, you know, from the website is just ridiculous. It's way too much, way too expensive. Um, so you might as well just do it by yourself because it's pretty easy to do. So um, that's what we're going to be doing today. What you're going to need is um, a Phillips 00, zero uh, screwdriver and a T6 screwdriver. And you can pick like this little 23 piece precision screwdriver set. You can get it at like uh, Home Depot. It costs like $5. dollars um, going to need a hard drive. I uh, just got a 500 gigabyte Western Digital Scorpio Blue. It's like it's pretty cheap, it's like 60 bucks or something. Um, uh, external hard drive to back up all your files, unless you have no files on your computer, which would make no sense. Um, okay, so yeah. What I have already done is uh, back up all my files on my hard drive using uh, SuperDuper. I'll put a link in the, uh, somewhere down there, um, you know, and you can, uh, check it out. It's, uh, it just, uh, backs your files up and makes it bootable from a hard drive. So, I'm just gonna shut this bad boy down, and we will get started. If it'll ever shut down. <sighs> I'm upgrading, like I said, to a 500 gigabyte hard drive because I have a 160 gigabyte in here and I've maxed that out months ago. Alright, so first up, get your screwdriver and we're going to be taking out all the little screws along the, uh, along the side of the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Alrighty. Alright, let's get these two screws over here. I mean, it goes without saying you want to keep your screws. Because we're not stupid people. We know we need to do that. Okay. Alrighty. So that's the bottom. I'm going to put the screws back in their holes. Just to keep up with them light easier. Alright. So, here we go. Bottom of your laptop. Now we're going to touch around here. We can touch wherever you want, but you just want to discharge any possible static electricity you have on you. Okay. So, obviously, we have hard drive here. So, first things first. There's this uh, retaining bar. This little black thing. I'm going to take it off. Let me do that right now. There's only two screws on it, so it's not that hard to do. Okay, that's done. Gotta take it out of here. So yeah, it's just this little black bar or whatever. We're gonna put it off to the side with our uh, bottom. All right, so now the uh, hard drive should be able to be pulled out like so. Okay. So now, obviously, we have the uh, SATA connection right here. Just gonna take it out. Okay. All right. So now you've got your old hard drive. Um, if you notice, it has screws in the bottom of it, or on the sides, rather. Excuse me. Um, what we're gonna do, and that's where you need the uh, the star bit 
for these little guys. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is get in this new hard drive. Alright, so got our new hard drive versus our old hard drive. Um, we're going to be replacing the screws in this, the old one, into the new one so it'll fit into the slot. So that is what we're going to do right now with the right bit. That one's too big. Oh, that's what she said. Just kidding. Did I really make that joke? That's horrible. Okay. So we've got our right bit in. Our... Okay, it likes staying in there. Or it doesn't like going in, period. Holy crap. That's ridiculous. Alright, anyway. Alright, so we're going to replace uh, these, these little star screws and put them in, the, uh, in our new hard drive. I don't know if like the top left screw needs to go in the top left spot, but you know what? Why not, you know? Why not make it match? And it doesn't change that much of what you're doing, like making it even, so there's no point in not doing it. Okay, one more. Alright. So now, you got your old hard drive, you got your screws taken out. We're going to deal with this plastic in a second. This over here. Alright, so new hard drive. Got our screws. Let's put the screws back in there. Hmm. This is the bad part because I have really uh, big hands. So, or big fingers rather. So, this is going to be interesting. There we go. Okay. That's one thing that sucks about having big fingers. Working on computers is a very rather, rather delicate process, so it's not that I'm clumsy with my big hands, but you know. There we go. Okay. Two more. <laughs> I keep trying to put the screw in first every time, realizing that that's just not the best way to do it. So yeah, you just screw them in, it's no big deal. And I've learned my lesson by the fourth time. Well, there you go. It takes me four times messing up on something to realize how to do it correctly. Okay. There we go, all the screws in. Not really tight, just, you know, they're in there. Um, and yeah. Okay. Now, I've got the new screws and the new hard drive. Gotta get this plastic off. Um, so we're going to place the plastic about the same spot as it was on here. And you should be able to just peel it off and put it right onto this one. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to hit the camera there. Okay. And the only reason you're doing this plastic here is to, you know, take it out whenever you put it back in there. But alright, anyway. So now we've got the new hard drive. And how does the hard drive read to the computer? Freaking SATA. So let's do this. Okay, so SATA cable's in. We're going to just uh, fit this in right here again. Okay, so that fit in pretty good. There's little notches. You'll see them when you're, uh, if you're doing this. Um, okay, so now new hard drive's in. Old drive is here. So now all we're going to do basically is put the bottom back on. 